In this episode, we take a look at a question from a student in my Spring Boot introduction course. If you'd like to learn everything you need to know to develop Spring Boot applications, please use the coupon code below to get 50% off of this course. With that, let's take a look at the question. All right, so the question is, hi, I've put my property file in spring.mvc.local, but I'm still, but it is still messages from the default messages.property file that are being displayed. If I display the value of the current local, I see that as Ian underscore GB and not French. What is the way to set this, set up a local in Spring Boot? So this really has to do around with internationalization. And basically what this student is doing is setting the local, it's hard coding the local as French, but it's still not resolving to French. It's coming as Great Britain. So let's take a look at what they're doing here. So in the application.properties file, we're basically going to set a locale to en underscore gb. And what we're going to do is we have this home controller. So when we hit localhost 8080, we're going to have a debug point here. And I want to see what the locale is coming up as. So let's go ahead and fire this up in debug mode. When it launches, we'll hit localhost 8080. And we should hit this breakpoint. And we should get an idea of what's going on there. Okay, so we're started up. I'm going to go over to localhost 8080, and we should hit this debug point now. And if we look at it, the locale is set to ENUS, even though we've hard-coded ENGB. So what's going on here? This was actually a change, and I can't remember the exact version of Spring Boot, but basically what's going on is the default way that it wants to figure out what the locale is, is by looking at the accept header that's being passed in the browser. So if you want to change this, and especially for development purposes, if you want to hard code a locale like we're doing here, then you need to change the way that we're resolving the locale. So there's actually a property that we can do this with, and it's actually the resolve, there it is. So you can see, the default is accept header, but we can actually change this to fixed. So fixed is going to say, go ahead and use whatever this is and not rely on the accept header to figure out what the locale should be. So let's go ahead and rerun this. And we'll go back to the browser, refresh this. And now we see our en underscore gb. So that's all there is to actually set in the locale in your properties file. You just need to make sure you change the way that we're actually resolving uh, what the locale should be. So uh, again, um, I want to thank you for the question. Uh, it was a good question. Uh, I've actually come across that myself before. And if you're in any of my classes, please uh, either post questions online or send them to an email. Or if you're watching this somewhere else, please go ahead and leave me some feedback below. If you have questions about the Spring Boot and what you're doing in your applications, I I'd love to hear it. And please subscribe to this channel, and I hope you guys have a great day.